Thomas Hunt Morgan was born in 1866 in Kentucky in the United States. Morgan began working with fruit flies, Drosophila melanogaster, in 1907. He bred many generations of Drosophila, wanting to find spontaneous developmental mutants. In 1910, Morgan noticed that one of the male flies had white eyes instead of the typical red. He wanted to know how the white color originated and what it was that determined eye color. To answer his questions, Morgan bred the white-eyed male with the red-eyed female. The first generation of offspring, F1, only had red eyes, which led Morgan to hypothesize that the red color was dominant and white was recessive. This was supported by the results from breeding one female fly and one male fly from F1 to make the next generation, F2. The ratio of red eyes to white eyes in F2 was 3 to 1, the Mendelian ratio for recessive trait. However, all of the F2 females had red eyes, and it was only some of the males that inherited the white-eyed trait. This led Morgan to hypothesize that white eye color was not only recessive, but also in some way linked to the sex of a fly. He named this mutation white, and the same name was given to the genetic element responsible for the white-eyed trait, which is confusing because the white gene is responsible for making the fly's eyes red. Morgan predicted that the normal white gene lay on the X chromosome, because unlike the Y chromosome that was only present in males, the X was present in both genders. In a genetic cross in which the female fly had two copies of the normal white gene, all male offspring had red eyes, even if the male fly had white eyes because the X chromosome was obtained from the female and not the male. In a genetic cross in which the female fly contained two copies of the white gene carrying recessive mutation, had white eyes, all male offsprings had white eyes, even if the males used in the cross had red eyes. Comparatively, if the male fly had white eyes and the female fly had one copy of the normal white gene and one copy of the white gene carrying a recessive mutation, there was a 50-50 chance that the offspring would have white eyes or red. Morgan's hypothesis was supported. Based on his results, he concluded that the gene-producing eye color must lie on the X chromosome that governs sex. We now know that the white gene produces a protein that builds pigment granules. If a normal amount of this protein is present, then the eyes attain a normal amount of pigment, and the fly's eyes are red. If there is a mutation that causes the protein to be unable to function, then no pigment is accumulated and the fly's eyes are white. Morgan's findings were not without controversy. There was a heated debate between the laboratories, the researchers W.E. Castle and Morgan in 1919. Castle argued that Morgan and his colleagues' assumptions regarding the organization of genes along a chromosome were absurd and conducted many experiments to prove that the arrangements of traits were not linear. Morgan and his lab were right, but the debate caused them to better describe their data and perform experiments to further clarify their hypothesis. Professor Julian Mercer is an Australian scientist whose research centers around the molecular analysis of the genetic defects of copper transport. His focus has been on the X-linked copper deficiency disorder, Menke's disease. In 1993, he made a breakthrough when he reported the isolation of the gene through positional cloning. He has also discovered that the cells become copper resistant by amplification of the Menke's gene due to an enhanced ability to discharge copper. Morgan's findings about genes and their location on chromosomes helped transform biology into an experimental science, and his discoveries made it possible to address a series of questions regarding the function and structure of genes. He died in 1945 at the age of 79.